Hello, I'm Hank Hill, and today we're going to do something stupid. We got so I haven't a clue where these came from or who sent them. I guess it was probably a week ago, a USPS flat rate box showed up. There were three of these inside. I was sent from someone. There was no card. There was no note. I have no idea. But I got to looking at them and reading the back of it, and apparent, apparently some clever German bloke uh, came up with this and and what what you do is you uh, if you have a big fire that's getting out of control you simply lob this ball in there and there's some sort of an explosion and uh, it, it apparently puts the fire out so that got me thinking why if that's true and if these are so effective uh, why are we uh, spending all of this time and money and these resources putting out these wildland fires why don't we just get a few th thousand of these and uh, roll that big cargo bay door open out of that C-130 transport and a uh, couple of eager young men out there, you could throw them out there, you know, throw, throw them down there in the fire and these things would go off and we wouldn't have the need to go to all that trouble, right? So, I think before the government's going to adopt these, we need to do some, well, some R&D on a smaller scale. So behind me, I have a uh, moderate size brush pile, of ponderosa pine. Let's light that thing up, let's get it good and hot. Let's lob a couple of these in there see what happens. All right, next to my boomstick, I've got an official USFS drip torch and a benzene, benzomatic sparker there. We'll get everything going. So, <laughs> I wasn't exactly prepared for the violence of the concussion and the, the noise, the explosion uh, that came out of that. I, I'm not Fire Marshal Bill, but I'm pretty sure that that really didn't make any difference uh, with that small brush pile there. So, the only thing left to do uh, is to throw two in at the same time. Perhaps the double coverage uh, will knock this fire out. Let's find out. Not only did the blast destroy my eardrums, it did did put the drip port torch out too. Oh. Well, apart from blasting a bazillion little pieces of styrofoam all over the pasture that will take about 50,000 years to break down, uh, I I'd have to say that it is, um, it's, it's ineffective. It's ineffective on uh, a large, large fires on brush piles. Uh, as we saw, it had zero effect whatsoever. Now, is it complete snake oil? Well, I don't think so. I would imagine that this was probably designed for more of a confined space. Let's say you had a dumpster fire uh, that was burning within a contained box or something like that. Um, I have probably a prob pretty, it was a probably pretty good chance that you could lob that in there um, and it would extinguish the fire. So um, I didn't really think that it was going to put out a brush fire. I just thought it would be fun to see. Um, and I didn't, maybe a wood stove. I was wondering, would it be, we get wood stove fires all the time with the fire department. How we put those out, <clears throat> excuse me, is a piece of wet burlap, you know, like an old potato sack burlap. We have a steel, we take a steel bucket, uh, soak that thing in some water and throw that, open up the firebox and throw that burlap in there. And what will happen is the steam that comes off there will go up and extinguish a, a chimney fire. Usually I've had good luck with that. And nine times out of 10, it's not going to crack the firebox. My question would be is, is if you lobbed one of those in there, is the explosive power uh, strong, so strong that it's going to break out the glass or destroy someone's wood stove. I don't know. It's going to make a heck of a mess, I'll tell you that. It's going to blast that stuff all over someone's house, but um, 
I don't know. Interesting concept. Um, I think that the smoke jumpers and the and the hot shots and the uh, engine crews. I think your jobs are secure. Uh, I don't think you're going to be uh, receiving a ton of um, competition from the firebomb. Uh, probably not at all. But uh, yeah, that's it. So thought we'd have a little fun with that. Uh, I was just uh, very anxious to cast those into a fire, and, and we've done it. And uh, so now we see. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next video.